Big Math for Little Kids, Unit 2, The Shape of Things. I'm thinking of a shape that has three sides and three points. What shape is a that? A triangle. Triangle. Truly understanding shapes means more than just being able to recognize a circle, triangle, rectangle, and square. It means learning to define them. What's that? Square. How many points does it have? Four. I thought you said a rectangle has four points. Rectangles are a little longer than squares. Oh, but they have four points too? Yeah. The developers of the Big Math for Little Kids curriculum say pre-kindergartners are capable of doing surprisingly more than most teachers think. Four and five-year-olds can go way beyond basic shapes. It's hexagon. Ooh, six spaces a day. One. The three-dimensional shapes, that blew me away. Oh, it's a rectangular prism. We're using the correct vocabulary and we're introducing it to them and they're using it. You're pretty good with these shapes. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. McGee of Northwesterly was walking home when what did she see? Little tiny seeds. Little tiny seeds. Mm. And what shape are those seeds? Circle. Excellent. What In this fun shape? story, Mrs. Uh -oh. McGee grows uh -oh. trees with this circles, tree. triangles, squares, and rectangles for leaves. Here, children are given hands-on experience placing the correct shape on the matching tree. Oh me, oh my, said Mrs. McGee. What are the shapes of the These leaves on awesome. this tree? Excellent. John A., can you find a circle and put it on the circle tree? It's a simple story whose lesson can easily be extended to more complex ideas. Excellent. Not with the circles, but with the triangles. Turn the, the orientations, yep. Really focus in on these things so that they start getting this understanding that it doesn't matter what way they're turned, that they're still all triangles. Then everyone came from near and far to the garden near the sea. They stared and stared at the funny leaves on the trees of Mrs. McGee. Today, Tommy, Annabelle, and Alicia, we are going to be learning about our shapes. What makes this a rectangle, everybody? Because it has two short sides and two long sides. Great. And how many corners does it have? Four. 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 Great. In Shape Touch, children are asked to search for and identify shapes by feeling them, actually touching the shapes rather than just looking at them on a piece of paper reinforces learning and helps children understand specifically what distinguishes one shape from another. How do you know it's a triangle? Because it has three sides. And how many corners? Three. Way to go. We want the teachers to tell the children why it's a circle, why it's a triangle. If we teach children what really defines a shape, then they're ready to deal with making that differentiation. And little children are ready for that. Square. Teacher Janice Marchak shows other teachers in a training workshop sponsored by NJN the extra large shapes she created for her preschoolers. Rectangle has four sides and four corners. So the children can more easily feel each corner and side. I think being able to see and touch and use a lot of really authentic words, which you think that children at this age are not ready for, but they really are, I think that makes a big difference. What's this? Pentagon. I think these kids really like their shape. Very good. One, two, three, four, five. No, it's hexagon. One. In the Lion Mountain game, children roll a cube featuring various shapes and then move their token the same number of spaces as the shape has sides. You landed on hexagon. Roll a hexagon, move six. 
it lays the foundation for later learning objectives in math. We actually had a first grade teacher come in and observe us and we were doing the three-dimensional shapes and she was blown away by that. And she said, even if they don't know the name of it, as long as they see it as a shape, and that concept later on will all be brought into her first grade class. And she thought that was a great idea that they were just being exposed to it. Teaching teachers that young children are ready for big math ideas, broadening the vocabulary of pre-kindergartners through activities and games, enriching and fun math experiences for students and teachers alike. It's intended to be a lot of fun. Now the words fun and math don't go together for a lot of people, unfortunately. So what we're trying to help the teachers understand is that however they learned math in the past, whatever their trauma in the past, it doesn't have to be that way. And they can have a good time and the kids could have a good time. And that's part of the educational goal is to enjoy it. Way to go. High five. We know our shapes. Yeah. Awesome job. Funding for NJN's Big Math for Little Kids teacher training project has been provided by Edison Venture Fund.